Hey, this is Fate 212. I'm Nafka. And, um, you know, I've been going over this um, Yandin um, Codex supplement for quite some time and seeing how that, that, how that will interact with the Eldar Codex and some of the things that I find fascinating or interesting. Um, one of the things that I wanted to bring up is, first, first of all, I've been reading through the fluff, or the background, I hate to use the word fluff, uh, very, very good, intriguing, it keeps you going, I really like it. Um, but more specifically, I want to get into um, how I kind of see some of the Yandin tactics going. I really like the uh, the gifts of the Siren. They have an item called the Soshriv, or Soshriv, um, and it's a sword, and basically what it does is it starts out at Strength 3, AP 2, it's master crafted melee weapon for like an autark or a farseer or a spirit seer. Now, what I like about it is, is it does something cool, which very much reminds me of a dark Eldar-ish um, pump up, uh, buff. You can say as the game goes on, it gets better. And what it is, is it's spirit stealer. Spirit stealer. Basically, it adds one to the strength. Um, to the weapon's strength for each unsaved wound that it has caused earlier in the game, up to strength 10, obviously. It starts at strength 3, okay? So you get in there and you kill, you know, with an odd target, and say you kill three things, okay? You kill, you throw doom on something, you get the re royal to wound, and you, you know, you kill, say, three guys. The next time you swing, it's gonna be strength 6, okay? <laughs> it's gonna jump up so fast. So I can see this, you know, in the fluff in the Dark Eldar and the, in the Eldar Codex fluff and the Yandin fluff, there's the Dark Eldar and the Eldar and the Yandin forces mix because the Eldar are so excited about, um, are so entertained by the Yandin's use of necromancy um, that they want to come in and witness it and join in on, on the battle. Um, so throwing in the Soul, the soul Shrive, um, along with some Dark Elder Archons with uh, um, the Soul Traps, so that they're being pumped up as the battle goes on if they kill some independent characters or something, along with Soul Strive, and you've got an Yandin Autark or whatever, also increasing in strength and having these basically super characters <laughs> running around. Um, it just sounds fun. Now, how would I use it? Um, I would probably put the guy on a bike just to make him toughness for help him survive a little bit better, um, and then I would send him out with a squad of jet bikes, um, darting across the field. Maybe, um, maybe he's hot on the heels of a couple of wave serpents uh, with wraith guard in there with D size, so they all fly behind the. Uh, you know, they're all going flat out, so they're all jumping behind the the the, the lines of the enemy or flanking. And then they just all pound into the enemy from one side. I see. I just see a lot of fun with this. And you have some dark elder allies coming in, and archons going nuts with their shadow fields, and soul traps, and husk blades, and so I mean, a lot of fun. Um, very fluffy according to the storylines and some of the backgrounds that you that we've been reading now with the dark eldar and the and now the Eandon. So anyhow, lots of fun. Um, I see myself doing this um, very soon um, in, in, in a couple games just because, hey, it's just, I can't pass it up. Um, and I, it, it just looks like it's going to be, I, I don't know if that's the way a tournament list would go or per se, but I see myself fielding it. And sometimes, you know, I'd like to test out a lot of things. You never know what ends up into my tournament list. Um, so, anyhow. Lots of fun stuff with the with the new releases. Uh, more coming out, and uh, lots of rumors and stuff on the main website. Um, you know, Navka blogs at blogspot.com right now um, until the new site's up. So, look forward to a lot more stuff coming up. Uh, this is Fate Two Twelve. I'm Navka, and I'll talk to you soon.